Nova Minerals Limited is an ASX listed company, ticker code NVA and also on the OTC in North America on NVAAF. And with me right now talking about the Estelle Gold Project is Chris Tyson, the Managing Director. Hello, Chris. How are you today, Tim? Good to be with you again. I'm and very well. It's an exciting, well. perfect time for an interview. Tim, we're we having some we're hot ha news right off the press. We're having a background fight battle right now. We've both got the Nova Minerals and the Estelle Gold um, behind us, and really it's a significant project. And you've just recently come out with a resource upgrade, but before we talk about that resource upgrade, what have you been? What have the activities been for the last six months? Right, so the last six months, uh, we, we started last year with – the maiden resource, two and a half million ounces. We drilled all year. We drilled over 30,000 meters last year, uh, Tim, uh, and we came out with an interim resource uh, based on that 30,000 meters. Uh, well, only only a, a small bit of it. Remember, we had some problems with the assay lab and turnaround. So we came out with our interim resource six months ago, 3.3 uh, million ounces. And since that time, now we have this new resource we've just released today of 4.7 million ounces. So within the course of six months, uh, we have increased the resource by over a million ounces. So what have we been doing in, in, in between that time? We've been drilling. We've just got to the end of our snow road activities, uh, just finishing it up now. We've, we've uh, brought in more camp units to uh, increase the capacity of our camps to get ready for a big drill season this year. Last year we had two rigs. This year we're going to have four rigs going full time out there at the site. Uh, we also brought in heavy equipment to start doing drill tracks. I brought in that another another drill rig. So like I said, we'll have four. So it's been very active. Remember, we set ourselves up early on, uh, committed the capital, and we're a year-round operation out there, and that's exactly what we're doing. That's incredible. You know, the, the whole project's only, say, three years old. 2018, I think you started on it, three years. And so basically, right. you know, you're looking at almost 2 million ounces a year. By the end of this year, yeah, that's yeah, um, that's the rate. Uh, and, a, a million yeah. ounces every six months, unbelievable. That's what it's sh shaping up. And this is so. This four point seven million that we've just released in this latest upgrade is on the road to ten million at Corbell alone. Uh, yeah. Right? Now and tell so, us about the other. You've got Corbell, but you've got satellite projects as well that you you're desperate to get to and drill. Tell us about that. That's right. So Corbell is, is represents only. 2% of the total land area, but we have a 324 square kilometer claim block here at the Estelle Gold Project. And across this claim block, we have 15 other known prospects. Uh, the next cab off the rank is 20 miles along mineralized strike down to the south. And it's called the RPM prospect. I say mineralized strike because these other known prospects sit along that same strike link. And when you fly over that area and you look down, there's just, uh, you know, numerous color anomalies. They're just screaming back at you with no uh, with no names to date. So this season, we're going to get out there and start to go to some of these other ones and do the field work, sampling and mapping to start to name some of these things. And so add more to our portfolio. But RPM, 20 miles along mineralized strike to the south from Corbell. Next cab off the rank. Remember, we have a 120 meters at over a gram in a historical drill hole there. We also did some additional rock chip sampling there at the end of last year, nine to 10 ounces per ton in this in these uh, rock chips and identified two zones there, RPM and RPM South. We believe that those will connect at depth. And so I have drill pads already built out there. We built them at the end of last year. We're gonna go out here in uh, May, June, uh, uh, once the um, we have water, once we have water in the area, and we're gonna drill up to 5,000 meters at RPM this year. And so we'll also come out, our plan is to come out with a maiden resource on RPM as well. And so I don't want to speculate how many millions of ounces of RPM, we'll see, but this will add some serious uh, you know, depth and scope to the Estelle Gold Project. Now we'll have two resource areas as we move forward uh, uh, at, at Estelle, Corbell and RPM. And so, yeah, you're right. It's not just Corbell, although that's been our main focus flagship on our path to production. Uh, we're unlocking a district, we're getting this pipeline of projects uh, across the, the the claims that'll then feed uh, into that uh, into that that central Corbell uh, processing area the way we envision it because these type you know these type of deposits Corbell 20 30 year mine life not uncommon uh, if you look at our peers uh, Fort Knox and Dublin Gulch but as a whole the project as a whole Corbell in its entirety 
40, 50 year of my life we expect uh, once it's all said and done, um, all said and done, or more. Now you just mentioned some fairly high grade um, chip results. Is this contiguous mineralization throughout the projects, or there is a different mineralization for RPM as there is at Core Belt? Right. So there's a uh, there, there's a structural, or a, I should say, an intrusive corridor. If you look at our claims, they're quite elongated north-south. So there's an intrusive corridor, and it's where these intrusives, uh, these in, intrusive um, uh, plugs, kind of pop up to the surface. This is what we see at Corbell. And so, you know, what's controlling those intrusives? Probably some kind of structural corridor. And so the the, the, the deposits are very similar, intrusive-related gold systems, and they're very large, bulk mineable, uh, um, very low strip ratio. The geometry is like like a blob, like a large ellipse rather than sort of the typical narrow vein. So that, that creates, just creates ideal economics off from the surface, right? Around the surface, so open pitable. Now at RPM though, there seems to be a bit of overlap because to the south of us is another project, an epithermal style project, very high grade, it's called the Terra Project. And they have the several million ounces there in a resource. And we think at RPM, we're seeing those high grades because there's a bit of an overlap. And actually, you know, geologically, when you look at the, uh, the veining at, at RPM, you start to get some of those epithermal structures. So oh, we're lovely. really excited about that. Lovely. And there's yeah. there, there seems to be an epithermal overprint. So you may find you've got this huge bulk tonnage um, building, you know, at a million ounces every six months. If there is um, high-grade epithermal at RPM, oh, my goodness, this will turn into a monster. That's what oh, I'm yeah. thinking. Well, um, well. Hmm. So what's what, but, what's up for the next six months? What I mean, you, you'll be drilling. You've got rigs on the ground. You'll have, uh, and I know that you would like to get a resource statement out every six months. So we're looking now at your latest four point seven million ounces. And if people want to have a look at the, how that lays out, go to the um, Nova Minerals website and look at the flyover. I mean, the the territory you're in is fantastic. You've got big neighbours everywhere. You've got a large footprint, but um, so run us over the next six months until the next resource upgrade. How are we going to get there? Right. So drill, baby, drill. Uh, while all of this is is going on just into the foreseeable future nonstop. But the next um, uh, milestone for us is the scoping study. And so at the, at the, you know, tons are the game. Volumes are king in these intrusive related gold system. And what we what we've seen in a recent news news release from our test work, what we've been doing right now is a lot of metallurgical and ore sorting test work. We had a recent news news release on the ore sorting, mm -hmm. and this is has this has a major impact, and it's and it's a it's a it's really a, a you know it's a game changer. And so overall, our resource runs around that 0.3 to 0.4 grams per ton, and we kind of usually envisioned ourselves as mainly a a heap leach bulk mineable tile deposit, similar to our peers, which I mentioned before. But what we're seeing with this ore sorting is if you look at our mineralization, they're all sheeted veins, uh, all going the same direction, not stock work or crossing. They're just very the same, the same direction, very steep. And they're very discreet and sharp. And the min mineralogy is very distinct. And so when you put them through the X-ray uh, transmission uh, uh, ore sorters, uh, the, uh, 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 the results are just uh, off, off the charts. What we found is with our with our sample that we tested was 0.6 gram material. When we put it through the first stage of ore sorting, it spit out the other end. The accepted material was upgraded 10 times to six grams per ton. Wow. Right? It, right. And so uh, and, and so what we're seeing with this, that we're getting such a, an upgrade is, is, you know, it's ore, ore sorting technology is uh, used in, in many projects anyway. It's proven technology, but the character of our ore body just makes this uh, work very, very well, as you see from those results. And so based on that, now we are looking at, uh, so since we can upgrade it to uh, up to 10 times, and then if we put it through again, uh, we, you know, then you, you get more of a mass pull. And so we're even seeing the next bit, you do it through two stages, the grades even still around three grams per ton. And so, uh, you know, at some point you'll optimize. So what we can, what you, you'll, you'll optimize what the optimal tonnage there and grade is. So even, even when you put in lower grade material at 0 0.3, 0 0.2, the accepted grade is still around that five to six gram per ton level. So what it comes down to is doing operating cost and how many tons you yeah. shove into the machine yeah. before, you know, before, before it doesn't pay for itself. Mm. And so what, what this has led us to do is to really go down this path of a mill of a milling circuit for this high grade material. And 
you know, I, I don't want to throw any numbers out right now, but the gravity is looking really good. And uh, we're getting very good gravity re- re- recoveries. Are also looking at some flotation for, for uh, what doesn't go through the gravity. And then it's like a funnel. You reduce the tonnages and the volumes oh, yeah. from going from the mine face into the, uh, into the mill and then through the concentration and gravity and flotation. And by the time you leach it, you, you, you have a, a, a much smaller volume, but at an extremely oh, high, grade. very high oh, grade. Yeah. The efficiency right, so of what, what you're talking what, about is astonishing. Right, and so what we're, reduction what we're seeing in cost. There, right, huge reduction in cost mm. energy that, um, you know, we're, we're seeing that uh, we're working in the range of 85 to 90%. Let's keep it kind of wide right now until we pin this down of recoveries, 85 to 95% recovery through the circuit. And what it also does is it minimizes our tailings because we reduce that volume down. So on the environmental side, huge, huge uh, po- positive impact. And huge so wind. you can see, you, you can see how, how this is, we've kind of, uh, you know, we're taking two tracks now. The heat bleach is still on the table, mm. but this uh, milling circuit through the ore sorters is, is very exciting. And all of this will come out in the scoping study by mid-year and we'll start to show uh, uh, what a profitable operation might look like or our, our conceptual operation as we move forward. So we're looking April now, so in, t- in mid-years, like into June, right? So a couple of months away. That's right. For the scoping stuff. Right, we'll try to get it before then, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the deadline for us internally. Wow, that's going to add significant uh, a window on 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 the right. on the business, if I can say it like that. Yeah. And then yeah. another resource upgrade with all the drilling you're doing now. What a story! Um, interested readers should go right now to Nova Minerals website and have a look at all the other details, including the last couple of releases, and check out the uh, how this company is. About to change Alaska. It's a fantastic story. Yeah, on the road, on the on the road to ten million ounces. That's yeah, four point seven and climbing at a million ounces every six months. Well, Chris, thank you very much for joining us. And um, uh, investors, ASX NVA North America NVAAF. Chris Tyson, CEO, Managing Director. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having us today, Tim. Look forward to the next update.